hello youtube thank you so much for coming back to my channel it's your girl kimberly make sure you hit the subscribe button that way you won't miss out on any of the great videos i make here for the channel on skincare hair care beauty tech makeup travel all the different things that you want to know so make sure you subscribe that way you will not miss out okay so in this video we are going to talk about revlon making news okay let me actually put this product in my hand down because it is not revlon and i do not want them to be like oh girl we we're good over here don't put us in the same bucket as revlon so two days ago um basically it came out that revlon is bor borrowing 375 million dollars in its bankruptcy filing it recently filed for bank bankruptcy to shore up supply chain so basically like two days before that breaking news revlon is filing for bankruptcy so this is a really big deal because revlon has been around for a really long time it is a drugstore brand um they are considered a legacy brand everyone has been kind of not really paying attention to them but it's just something that you thought would always be there and that's really not the case for any of these companies and we are learning that now um basically they're in peril um saying that uh a lot of their issues stem from the covid pandemic and that you know that caused them to lose sales messed with their money basically made it rough for them um and that they're saying basically all these extra it's also not only were they losing money because sales were low because of the pandemic now that inflation and cost for supplies are going up they can't get the supplies they need to make the products that are already pre-sold to people and promised and make sure that when you go to the stores that revlon section is not empty so they basically need some here today money so they won't be gone tomorrow and uh, they filed for chapter 11 protection um and they say that they're because of the supplies and all the things going on that um they're unable to pay the interest on a 3.5 billion dollar debt 3.5 billion dollar debt that you're missing payments for and see and i'll be coming after the little people missing a bill like <laughs> hello corporations way worse but that's a whole nother video um so yeah so basically they're trying to work with um i guess whoever is about to lend them this 375 million so that way they can um still be an operational business so is this the end of drugstore brands no <laughs> not by a long shot I'm gonna be super frank and real with you guys yes I love a high-end makeup and when I buy makeup a lot of times I do end up in Sephora Ulta makeup counters and those kinds of stores but I love drugstore makeup and I think people sometimes when you see a lot of youtubers who are like showing new products and Pat McGrath and this and that you'll think that everything that they're using are like these high-end expensive brands and that's not that's usually not the case there's usually anybody who's into real like really into makeup you're gonna go in their stash and there's definitely gonna be drugstore stuff in there um maybe one or two people will be like i don't buy anything from the drugstore but the average person they're gonna buy something from the drugstore whether it's um makeup removers cleaners mascaras my brow pencil i'm used to love anastasia beverly hills i tried the l'oreal one and i was like 25 dollar brow pencil nine dollar brow pencil clearly and the thing is i wear brows like every day like i try not to leave the house without brows so clearly i'm gonna buy the nine dollar one like that's just what makes more sense and they work exactly the same like there's no the 25 dollar one doesn't last longer it doesn't look better it does exactly the same thing as the nine dollar one or i think it might be 11.99 at this point but love drugstore makeup too so it's not an either or for a lot of people it's both so just because revlon is struggling financially this has i feel like this doesn't have any impact on the other drugstore brands but if we do want to talk about something let's talk about how revlon has not been coming out with anything new when i first started getting into makeup in 2008 
2009 is when I first started getting into makeup. And around that time, Revlon could do no wrong. Like anything Revlon came out with, the drugstore was already sold out empty because everybody was on the launches from Revlon. Colorstay anything. It could have been color, Colorstay foundation, Colorstay concealer, Colorstay eyeshadow, Colorstay powder, Colorstay brow pencil, anything. You just put the words Colorstay in front of it and it sold out. Color state tissues, color state water. We would have went out and bought it because everybody was going crazy for color state because it was something new, it was something innovative, and it aligned with the trends that a lot of the high end brands were doing. And it was a new, more accessible way for people to wear that same lifelike, photo ready HD foundation effect, but to get it at a better price point. And to this day, Revlon lipsticks are one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks. So it's not that they can't do it. It's just that you can't do it once. You have to keep doing it over and over and over again in order to be a brand that stays the test of time. I think, I mean, no two situations are alike. But from looking on the outside in, Revlon's situation seems very similar to MAC. Granted, MAC never filed for nobody's bankruptcy. But, um... In terms of being the brand that everybody loves and that it brand and then you go through a time where you're not really coming out with anything new and then there's like a lull in your popularity and your sales I think Revlon is having the same experience that Mac did and Mac is kind of coming back now with this Mac stack mascara people are talking about them again people are bringing up their products again um, I have a lot of reviews for Mac and all of a sudden my Mac reviews are starting to get a lot more views than they used to and um, people are like actually checking for them now. So I think Revlon could do the same thing. Hopefully this money, a lot of peop people, companies file for bankruptcy and it's not the end of them. So I think that this is going to be one of those situations. I fully don't expect Revlon to go out of business. But I do think they're going to have to do a MAC did, which is like sit down at the table, research and development and innovate. And then come out with something new that people could be excited about. Um... Like I said, there was a time where you could put color stay anything and people would buy it in droves. I'm not even going to front. I had color stay all the things and I had an allergic reaction to it. And I still was trying to make it work because I was like, but the YouTube girl said it's perfect. So even though I'm, my face is burning, I'm going to make it work. But, um, and Revlon has so many different products. It's not even like they only do lip or they only do face. They have a full range. So they already have the foundation and the groundwork to be a successful brand they just have to do the research and development part to bring out new products and in terms of drugstore brands that are on it and that are still popping milani is always coming out with new collections whatever the high-end brands are doing milani is going to have a version sitting right there and it's going to be almost it's going to be right up on that level it might not be exactly the same but it's going to be the best drugstore version of it um, i.e. the lip oils. Milani even had a lip oil before some of the high-end brands had lip oils and they were phenomenal. So those are some of my favorites. Um, Milani is doing great at the drugstore. L'Oreal is doing great at the drugstore. Um, new drugstore brands are popping up. I know there was a time where not so much now, but there was like a lot of new drugstore brands. I know Drew Barrymore came out with one. Um, Jason Wu, I think now, has a drugstore makeup brand at Target. There's this new brow company at Target. There's so many new re makeup revolution wasn't in U.S. drugstores before. And it's come here now. So it's not new in the world, but it's new here for us in the U.S. Um, NYX wasn't in the drugstores. It is now. ELF had a much smaller presence in the drugstore slash Target. I'm counting Target as drugstore. That's really my drugstore because I don't buy makeup from I mean I buy makeup from CVS when I get a little coupon but for the most part I don't really buy um I don't really buy that much makeup there I mostly get my drugstore makeup from Target but um yeah NYX ELF makeup revolution like there's a whole makeup counter section now not even counting Ulta's inside of Target so Drugstore makeup is thriving. It's a bigger market than ever. There's always going to be the people who get drugstore makeup in the whole world, country of it all. That's just that market, that section, that need is never going to disappear and it's always going to be there. So the 
idea that like is Revlon's current business struggles an indicator of the larger industry trends that's not correct that's not accurate drugstore makeup will always be there people love drugstore makeup I'm not even gonna again personal experience when I go on vacation and I forget something I don't go by the high-end version a lot of times the places where I go to vacation they don't even have they don't even have Sephora so if I forgot an eyebrow pencil where am I going I'm going to the drugstore and I most of the time the products are not even in the language that I speak or read and I'm just hopeful like I hope there's no bleach in this and it looks similar to eyebrow pencils at home uh, um, most times I'm fortunate enough that I can uh, speak or work with an employee and they'll be like oh yeah this is eyebrows yeah that's gonna be right but there is no Sephora so I can't get no high end anything and sometimes there's no Macy's there's no um, Harrods, there's no any of that. It's just like this is the drugstore, there's a supermarket, and there's the wonderful ocean beach resort insert place here that you came to experience. And I'm looking for drugstore makeup. Even when I travel in the US, if the Sephora is not, I wish, can they start putting Sephora's in airports? That's another thing. But, um, <laughs> a lot of times I'm on the rush, I'm trying to go and they'll be like in the either the basement of the hotel if it's like connected to a mall a little strip mall there'll be a CVS or a Walgreens or something and you're gonna go to get drugstore makeup also the price point when you're young it doesn't even financially make sense to spend a whole bunch of money on makeup especially if you're working retail or a food store or something you're making minimum wage like a $50 palette is like two and a half hours of work you're not gonna do that so um you're going to get a drugstore. And uh, that was the beauty of drugs. That is the.